So uh, although I'm inclined to describe Sorel as, as artist, period, and that sculpture is something he does and, and is a large part of, of the work he has made, foremost, he begins with an idea. And the idea is something that needs to find a life, it needs to find a place in the world. Going from idea to sculpture regularly means a mixture of developing drawings that are a way to understand what that shape will be, what that design will be, but also to work with small scale versions and, or what are called maquettes. And in his case, uh, the maquettes can be developed using uh, malleable wax, things that he can sort of bend and shape. Often they're, they're things that could easily sit on a tabletop, maybe 45 centimeters high. And it's a way to develop what that form is and what that language that he's using will be, whether it is something like a link or something like a, a hinge. And in, in the course of making work, might make a dozen or more maquettes from a series. Maybe only a few of them will ever actually be rendered as a full-size sculpture. He's starting with something that might only be this big, and then as he's scaling it up to something that might be two meters high or higher, understands that the difference between something that's 45 centimeters high and something that's 200 centimeters high, the volume has to be different. That it's not just uh, expanding it by 60 times. Uh, also in his career, he's used plaster. And plaster is a material that is great for sculptors to use because it's something that they can build a form, they can add to it, but then as plaster dries, they can then cut away from it. And then if need be, they can add more. And so it's this thing that as the sculptor's thoughts evolving, it allows the sculptor to, to develop the form further.